Hello, I'm Matty. Let's take a look at how I painted the Insulindian Phasmid for my partner's 30th birthday. This painting's based on my partner's favourite scene from one of his favourite video games, which is Disco Elysium. I kept it secret from him until it was done, which drove him crazy, and that was very entertaining for me. This is my first time doing a voiceover for a video, so if I miss anything or if you have any questions about my process, please feel free to pop it in the comments. Every acrylic painting I do starts with an underpainting, usually using yellow ochre. This can help with strengthening the colours of a painting, but realistically, I do it to make the big white page a bit less scary. I used one of my new brown pens for the drawing underneath for the first time. And I'm really happy that you can still see it under the paint, although next time I will be using way more water than that. Look how dry that paint is. Ooh. Then I started working from background to foreground, so that meant painting the sky first. Initially I tried to accurately recreate the sky from the reference image, but I quickly realised that this was a silly move, and I had an opportunity here to be a bit more loose and expressive. I had to work around the various limbs of this alien creature, so I took the sections that these legs had created and I painted them bit by bit, section by section. I've noticed that I do tend to mix paints together directly on the canvas or the page. Apparently this is a trait that lends itself to oil painting, which is something I've not done before, but I would love to have a go. I do have a brand new pack of water-based oils that is lurking under my desk, waiting patiently for me to be ready to use them. Having finished the sky, I realised that the alien in the centre was becoming hard to see properly, so I painted in the basic shape of them with white. This was a choice I would come to regret, as you will soon see. <laughs> I then did the same for our friend Mr Harry Dubois over here, but sensibly I used different blues as the base colour to better define his shape. This is when my choices came back to haunt me. The white paint succeeded in its intended purpose of showing me where I needed to paint, but the use of white meant that the thinner paints like these browns and purples kept showing the white paint underneath. Watching these clips makes me so frustrated, it's very unsatisfying. Thankfully it was an easy fix and all I had to do was magically find a shred of patience and wait for that layer to dry and then add another layer or two on top. I thought painting the head of the alien would take no time at all, but I was incredibly wrong. So here's an hour of painting in just under a minute. And now for those final touches on the eyes. This is when it felt like I was in the home stretch, which was lucky because I was running out of time. Now for the foreground. Correct me if I'm wrong, or probably my partner will, but um, I believe this scene is set in a field of wheat. I had learned from my previous decision to use white to carve out the shapes. So I painted those closest bits with browns and purples and then plonked the colourful highlights on top. Our friend Harry needed some highlights and some fun colour now too. It was at this point that I started being a bit more careful about sticking to the shapes, because now was not the time to be making mistakes. <laughs> I did end up finishing this the day after his birthday, so towards the end I was trying desperately to balance working quickly with working carefully. Now for some satisfying tape peeling! 
I use frog tape on all of my paintings. It's very good for avoiding ripping the paper, but I do always use a hairdryer before peeling it off anyway, just to loosen the glue a bit. Just a last bit of erasing and we're done. If you're still here, thank you so much for watching. I'm really pleased with how this turned out and Tommy seems to be too. So now we've just got to find a frame for it. If you liked this and want to see more, you can find me on Instagram and Facebook and I'll pop the details in the description. See you soon. Bye.